And now let's bring the conversation back here to Washington. Mohammed, I think it's time for a science lesson. Can you tell us a little bit more about the hydrogen combustion engine itself and uh, how it works? Well, thanks for the introduction, uh, James, and thanks for having me. My name is Mohammed Ali, and I have the honor and privilege of leading the engineering team at GE Aviation, one of the two parent companies of CFM International, along with Saffron Aircraft Engines. I am incredibly proud to be standing here with Airbus representing CFM to develop these technology solutions for the future of flight. Sustainability is our North Star. Last summer, we announced the CFM RISE technology demonstration program, RISE standing for Revolutionary Innovations for Sustainable Engines. G also recently won with NASA a program to develop megawatt plus hybrid electric technologies leading to a full flight demonstration. And a few months ago, we were part of the world's first passenger flight using 100% sustainable aviation fuel. I was and I had the privilege to be on board that flight together with my colleagues. Today, we are participating in this exciting hydrogen demonstration announcement. This is another big step forward toward our commitment to a more sustainable aviation industry. Hydrogen is both exciting and challenging, but we are not starting from vacuum. GE has more than 8 million hours of experience with hydrogen combustion already today with land-based gas turbines. We are ready to take that experience to the next level and literally fly with it. Let's now go behind the scenes and inside an aircraft engine to understand what hydrogen means for the engine. First, to distribute the fuel from the storage tanks to the engine combustor, it will require development of a new cryogenic fuel delivery system. Before the liquid hydrogen can enter the engine's combustion chamber, we will need to convert it into gas to be burned cleanly inside the combustor. Michel, my colleague at Saffron, will explain this in more detail. So unlike jet fuel, hydrogen is injected into the combustor as a gas, mixing with air to be easier. But hydrogen burns at higher temperatures than jet fuel does today. And there we will build on CFM's legacy of innovation in advanced materials, coatings, and cooling technology to develop combustor and turbine parts that can withstand that temperature and achieve same or better durability than what we have today. Burning hotter also means more susceptibility to other forms of emissions like nitrogen oxides. This is when we will leverage all our experience of how to substantially minimize nitrogen oxides and their formation. Hydrogen also burns faster than jet fuel, like 10 times faster, requiring new designs to control the flame and make it, sta make it stable, which is when our legacy of making revolutionary steps in combustion technology will rise to that challenge. As our next steps, we will modify an existing GE Passport engine for the purposes of this program, adjusting the fuel distribution system, combustor, and controls to work with hydrogen. We will fly a modified engine to learn the art of the possible and to prove out the technologies. What we learn from this program will inform us about future potential future engine development. Is hydrogen harder? Yes. Is it doable? Absolutely. And we are building on tremendous experience here. And I'm actually very encouraged by the inventions we have already made to address those challenges. We are not a team that shy away from hard challenges. We believe we can make the future of flight affordable and more sustainable, all together with safety as the number one above all. This is what motivates us. With that, I turn it back to you, James.